Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. We're going to do some Major League Baseball action for July the 30th. Before we do, I want to invite you to join. And you'll have access to the VIP Club section. And again, you see all these tools across the top here. It'll help you make your picks. Okay, so the baseball season is entering the final couple months after the All-Star break, and teams are really starting to try to make a push towards the postseason. So we've got a lot of good games for you for July the 30th. We're going to take a look at five of those games. The first one we want to take a look at is New York Yankees and the Philadelphia Phillies. While both teams are in the, in the hunt for strong playoff position, both teams are also playing poorly at the moment. The Yankees won in five over the last six and dead status. Philadelphia 2-4 and four over the last six, and ice cold down. You can see the teams are on opposite sides of the line. The Yankees mostly over the line lately, and the Phillies mostly under the line. The score prediction has the Phillies by a 6-5 to five total. The margin of uh, uh, the confidence in the prediction, though, is only about 45%. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, both teams near the bottom right now because of the recent trend. Um, if you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, the teams have not yet played in the regular season. Um, if we take a look here, um, the Phillies are 37-17 at home. The Yankees are also very good on the road at 33-22. and 22. If you look at the stability factor, the Phillies are much more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus 26 compared to the Yankees at plus 5. The Yankees have been on a downward trend in that category. Notice they were at plus 16 back on June the 14th. Um, if, it, if you look at the run differentials, both teams are near the top of the league. In fact, they're the top two run differential teams in the league. Um, I'm going with the Phillies here at home. I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. The next one we want to look at, Minnesota and the New York Mets. The Mets are probably the hottest team in the league at the moment, winners of their last five, and they're burning hot and now in second place in the NL East, while the Twins are in first place, or actually they're in second place, um, in their division, in the Central, and they are burning hot winners of three out of their last six and two and two out of their last three. The score prediction is for the Mets six to five. Confidence is rather low, though, 29%. And if you look at the over under, the teams have been involved in mostly games over the line. Um, the Twins five out of the last six and the Mets three out of the last six. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, the Mets or have skyrocketed up to plus 25, and Minnesota even more of an upward climb there at plus 22 at the moment. The teams have not yet met this season. Um, as far as the stability factor, Minnesota is much more stable at plus 24, and the Mets are just moderately stable at plus 4. Um, the scoring differential edge is for um, Minnesota at plus 51 to plus 27. I like the Twins in this one. I think it's going to be a higher scoring game, so let's go over the line. Um, the next one is the Rangers and the Cardinals. The Rangers come in, burning hot down, winners of five out of the last six. They are third in the AL West, and the Cardinals are second in the NL Central. They are average down at the moment, losers of three out of their last four. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams have been involved in mostly games under the line in the last 12, but the, over the last few games, Three out of the last four have been over the line. The score prediction is for Texas by a 5-3 to three margin. Confidence, again, is rather low, only a little bit more than a toss of a coin at 53%. If you take a look at the power ranks, Texas is on a downward trend there at plus, 20, or plus 19 at the moment. Cardinal is also on a downward trend there at plus 14. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, the teams have not yet met this season. And again, the stability factor shows that only moderately stable for the Cardinals. They were more consistent uh, back in June. Look at that about a month ago. But Texas have been, has been more stable since then, and they are now plus 13. Texas eight games under 500 on the road. The Cardinals are two games over 500 at home. Despite having a worse overall record, Texas has a scoring differential edge of plus 8 to minus 38. So I like the Rangers to continue their hot play. But I'm going to pass on the over-under bet on this one. Now let's take a look at Atlanta and Milwaukee. Atlanta has really struggled. They are dead status now. Losers of their last six, and they have dipped to third place in the NL East. While the Brewers are average status four and two over their last six. 
Uh, the score prediction is for Milwaukee 7 to 2, but take that with a grain of salt because the confidence is very low at only 17%. And the over under shows that the teams have been involved in games under the line in, uh, well, let's see, three, five out of the last eight. Um, on the power ranks, Milwaukee has dipped to plus 18, and the Braves that are at zero because of their recent very poor stretch. And Milwaukee's 29-18 at home. Atlanta is three games under 500 on the road. In addition, Milwaukee is plus 80 to plus 45 and run differential edge. I like the Brewers. They continue the Braves skid. I think it's going to be a higher scoring game. So let's go with the Brewers and over the line. And the last game we want to look at for the day, as we go down through the list, um, the Dodgers and the Padres in this NL West battle. The Padres come in burning hot winners of their last six. The Dodgers are four and two over their last six and just uh, one and two over their last three. Uh, the score prediction is for San Diego by a four to three margin. Again, rather low confidence in the prediction of only 56%. The over-under shows that the teams have been involved pretty much even over and under. In fact, exactly even over and under six and six over the last 12. The power ranks. So the Padres near the top of the league at plus 29 at the moment. The Dodgers have dipped down to plus 13. San Diego is two games under 500 at home. The Dodgers are five games over, over 500 on the road. But if you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the teams, the Padres have won four out of the six meetings between the teams this season. So I like that trend to continue with the Padres winning and in a game under the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for July 30th. Happy betting and see you next time.